New this morning, a group of Colorado aerospace companies is teaming up with CU Boulder to try and stop budget cuts to NASA. Dr. David Brain is the chair of the Astrophysical and Planetary Sciences Department at CU. He joins us live this morning to talk about the effort. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for being here. We want to know why NASA funding is such a big deal for Colorado specifically. Well, uh, Colorado is a space hub in the uh, in the U.S. Out of the 50 states, we're one of the top states in terms of space industry and also in terms of space research. Uh, the University of Colorado is the number one public university for NASA funding in most of the recent years. And uh, uh, science in general beyond CU uh, brings in a fair amount of funding to the state and that funding ends up multiplying in terms of economic impact in the state. There's a multiplier of a factor of two or even three in the state. Sure, sure. So with that being said, how much of a budget cut are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a 47% cut to NASA science in the coming year that's been proposed. If you correct for inflation, this will take NASA funding to its lowest level since 1961. Uh, so decades, uh, a decades type impact in terms of the decrease in the funding. Yeah, I wanna talk a little bit more about that impact. What else could we see in the industry and maybe the impact to research in Colorado if the cuts move forward? Yeah, there, there I would anticipate impacts on short time scales and long time scales if these budget cuts go through. On short time scales, we're looking at uh, active spacecraft missions that have been highly rated for science, uh, proposed to be canceled and shut down starting at the beginning of the fiscal year, which is October 1st. Yeah. Multiple spacecraft missions, all with footprints here in Colorado. Uh, funding proposals that scientists could propose for uh, new scientific ideas that can lead to economic impact or new discoveries down the line. Those haven't come out yet for this year, and they should have come out in February, and those should be cut back by 50%. But for me, the biggest impact is the impact to early career scientists here in the state and across the U.S., uh, the early career scientists that are being trained now on uh, an analysis of spacecraft data and new scientific investigations, those are the people that will be leading the industry and leading the world 20 years from now. And I'm quite worried that if these budget cuts go through, uh, that cadre of future leaders won't be there for us when we need them. Right. Yeah, no, you got to think about the next generation. So just quickly, my last question for you. There's a joint letter to our state's congressional delegation. What's the goal of that? Uh, the goal is to encourage Congress to uh, minimize the budget cuts or remove them entirely to make science and exploration, space science and space exploration healthy uh, in the state of Colorado and across the U.S. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Dr. Brain, thank you so much for waking up early with us and breaking this all down. Really appreciate it.